welcome to my classroom. So I'm a teacher, if you didn't know. I thought I'd do a classroom tour because I haven't done one yet. So, walk into my classroom. I'm in a portable, so it's like ridiculously small. So, yeah. And then right here, I have all my classroom jobs. So, you know, the basics. And then I have my, like, motivation wall. And then all the kids' names go here. This one just says D. I don't know why. And then, like, I print their pictures, and their picture goes under their name, so that, like, I can learn names better. And then, I have all my Expo markers. Oh, color ones aren't supposed to be in there. Oh, well. Then I have socks that they use for erasers. They all get kind of grossed out because it's from my first year, and, like, the next year, kids will be, like, gross. But, and then actual erasers. Oh, my God. I'm surprised there's actually erasers in here because normally people, kids steal them. And I have other stuff. And then I have whisper phones. So you can whisper in here, so. Oh my gosh, I want to try that. Isn't that cool? Wait, let me see. We have a little break in the classroom tour because the <laughs> what tenth grader and senior <laughs> need to know what these whisper phones I've never are. Had whisper phones. Isn't that aren't those sweet? Yeah. I guess we got those. <laughs> You. Then I have my math bulletin and where do I put all my math things? And then we have our comfy corner for kids to like calm down on if they're like escalated. Oh, you show them your new pillow. All right, I got a new pillow from Target. It's a pencil. And then I wrote you're the best during testing. And I just never took it back down. So it's still there. You're the best. And these are normally have plants in them, but we killed them obviously. Yeah, I mean you haven't been here all summer. <laughs> so. Oh, <laughs> oh. And there's a turning tray, a paper tray, more paper. I don't know what this is gonna be yet, but it's there. And then this is all their where their books go. And then they have their own phone. And they have a clicker. Do you like sanitize the phones? Yeah. And then Yes. Yeah. And then I have my library, which has like eight bajillion books in it. And yeah. Here's my library, and then my fish goes here. Its name's Buckeye, but I, like, haven't brought it back yet. And then I have my whole writing wall. And then I have all those Sears Porsche events. Narnia, Harry Potter, this light my grandma got me. Do they read Harry Potter books? Yeah. They do? Yeah. Oh, my God. Some of them do. My grandparents got me this cute light. Grandma and Grandpa got me this. Isn't it cute? Our grandparents? Yeah, they found it at a garage oh, sale. Oh, that's cute. And I, like, love it. It's, my fa it's like, one of my favorite things. I do like this. Mm-hmm. Then I have picture books because we still use picture books. Pencils, markers, smell good thing. They don't smell like anything. This is our homework stuff. And then I normally have headphones here, but they make us turn them in every year. And then I have all my group books. So these are like my books that I, like people read for like book groups. If I do book groups. And then I have virtual reality glasses. Wobe. What do you do with virtual so realities? I haven't done anything with yet. I just got them. Oh. And then in here, I have flexible seating. Oh my gosh, I want to sit on one of these. <laughs> Ooh, dude, like, my butt's too big. That's why you sit on it, because, like, you have to, like, try, like, that's the point. So they like, can, like, move are you around. Are balance on it? And those I didn't have to buy. Those I got a grant for on GoFundMe or something. I feel like this is, like, I'd rather just, like, sit still, you know? Well, that's because you don't have attention issues. We're going to keep going. This is like me in class. Ken's going to like... Let's put this back. Push in our chairs. Our little tiny chairs. Oh, no. Oh, I have all the desks. But they're only in this position because I only do that for the first day of school. Or like the first week of school because, yeah. Then I have my reading wall. Oh, yeah, but that's like my stuff. And then the dividers for testing. So I have my reading wall. My How often does I have a test? My birthday is with all my kids' name on the names on them that I can't show you. <laughs> so that's awkward. Birthdays. And then at the end of every unit. And then I have my partner pair board. My welcome sign calendar. And I have my desk that Caitlin's sitting in. It's pretty like basic. Okay, I have one what of those drawer things. Is? When they read, they whisper. You whisper. Come on. So they can hear themselves read. Oh! Show them the pen. Oh, I have a pen. You can, like, you gotta grab the pen. 
Show them the, the uh, Josie is invisible. Jack no, without no, showing them my name. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. Cover the name. So I use that if I use this if I'm with a small group and I like don't want to talk to other kids. So like, I sit on the carpet and like if this is off, they can like talk to me. But if it's an off, if it's on at the top, it says that I'm invisible. And you so, can't even read it. <laughs> yeah. Well, it says I'm invisible at the top, so when it's on, they can't talk to me, and when it's off, they can. So, yeah. And then I have my little calendar on my desk. Yeah. This is a ladybug. Yeah, I use that to, like, I can, like, put objects. Like, show and tell. They still, like, love show and tell. Oh, yeah. So, like, put stuff under it, and they can watch it. And this otter thing. That's my favorite. I love otters. They're my favorite in the whole yeah. world. And you're gonna go meet one oh, soon. Uh, yeah. Literally, probably showed this like one time. It's probably. I can I can crop it. Yeah. And then I have my Promethean board, which is like a smart board, but like I don't know. I think I kind of like it better to be honest. And I have my pencil sharpener. And then this is all my math. Oh no, those are my crayons. And then I have math manipulatives. More math manipulatives, like clock cards. My free time drawer, it has like this model's magic stuff in it. And then it has Play-Doh. And it has like little games so they like can do this stuff during free time. It has like this game with these, you know, like this thing. There's like a, oh. a, th a thing and then you like twist it. This is my word wall for like vocab. And then I have my prize box with like a bunch of prizes in it. What are the prizes? You can look at them if you want. And then this is my box that my Jolly Ranchers go in. And then this is like my organizational, like all my stuff. I have a talking stick. Do you hold that when you talk? Actually, no, I just had to make it for college. Yeah. Wow. chairs and these chairs have stuff in them too so all these chairs have stuff in them so that's my classroom i love it so thanks for watching bye hey guys so we're currently at josie's classroom and i just like i like tested all of her dry erase markers on the board so you know this is really hard to do Josie. Josie. Oh, that's her name. Miss Josie. Alright, so we're in my classroom and Kennedy wants to teach you guys a lesson. Oh, yeah, I think that's. So she's going to teach you guys a lesson on how to add 2 plus 2. Yeah, Go. That's what I was going to do anyway. Like, Go. I didn't even. Alright. <laughs> so this is our equation. Equation? <laughs> 2 plus 2. <gasps> Honey, they're in like first grade. This is like a first grade class right now. You can't do this is a second, third grade class. Right okay, how do you do two plus two? Okay, so let's take it like we have two dots. You know, each one has two dots. Why does it have two dots? Um, because it represents because two represents two. Why? Because it just does. Like two is a number. But why? Okay, if you take one, you have one dot. Two is two dots. Three is three dots. What about forty? Forty dots. Okay. Because it's just a number. Okay. 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 Like, that's basic like knowledge. I got it. Okay, so then you just gotta count them up. So this is one, two, three, four. So then that would equal the Five. very last number. Five. Four. Oh. So if you count one, two, three, four. So two but plus two equals four. We'll do. Did you learn something new today? Yeah. So I want you to do. Here, yeah, I just want. I want to see how good your math skills are. What's seven? What's six times seven? Again. <laughs> Forty-two. Ten. Forty-two. What's eight times eight? It's 
81. <laughs> 64. What's 8 times 7? 60. Oh, I want to show you a trick. Here, you can video me. So in, if you do 8 times 7, you get 56. Because 5, 6, 7, 8. Bam! Want to hear something else? Is that the only trick? No. Like if Do you nines? teach your kids? Oh, yeah. Nine this is a helpful? Yeah. We'll do nines. It's really easy. Four, five, six, seven. Your head's kind of in the way. Well, <laughs> you, so you're both one, diagonally. Zero, nine, right? See, I don't. I use a calculator. Well, you can do your fingers. Do you know the finger trick? Yeah. These lights in my classroom, too. Oh, yeah. These lights are like my favorite. Here, let me turn them on. I'll show you. I'll show you while Ken's doing this forever. I never have lights on. My class is always like this. Always. I, I legit like, oh, and this snowflake, we like make snowflakes and hang them from the ceiling in winter, so it looks really cool. Like, there's like all over my class. You did it? Good job! Now we can go home and go have a campfire. All right, you ready to go home? Now we're gonna go have a campfire. I can't get it.